and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new for today's video i'm going to be doing a part two of the first part of this video which was my bridal makeup kit must-haves so if you guys haven't seen the first part of this video definitely go ahead and check that out i will be linking it either up here in the cards or i will also be putting it in the description bar down below i wasn't actually planning on making a part two of this video but i literally realized when i was editing that video that i left out a whole entire category of products i don't know how i did that so i will be kind of adding on to different products and also in different categories for this video. So go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up for me if you guys really like makeup artist kit videos. The first thing I'm going to talk about is not really a makeup item, but it's something that helps prolong the use of your makeup, which is really, really handy, especially when it comes to bridal makeup. Um, this is actually going to be my Inglot Duraline. It's basically just a mixing medium, um, comes in like a little dropper applicator here, and you literally only need maybe one or two drops of this guy and you actually put it in any of your cream products or gel products that you feel like you're getting a little bit dry it basically just kind of makes your cream products creamy again <laughs> there's been multiple different times where i've been doing bridal jobs and i realized that my inglot gel liner that i keep in my one palette totally dried out for some reason either i haven't touched it or i didn't seal the container tight enough <laughs> but either way i totally completely dried out luckily i had the inglot duraline so i could add a few drops in mix it in and then bring back the life of my gel liner because obviously for brides, you definitely wanna have a very solid gel liner with you at all times. So yeah, having Inglot Duraline in emergency situations like that is really a good thing to have because weddings can get crazy and it's just really nice to have backups just in case it happens. In the last video I did, I just covered my loose eyeshadow pigments and then I also covered the cream eyeshadows as well, but I didn't cover powders. What you always need as a bridal makeup artist is a solid, neutral matte eyeshadow palette. So this is my Vizier eyeshadow palette or Visar or however you want to pronounce it. It's basically just a whole entire um, palette just full of neutral colors that are completely matte. They don't have any sort of shimmer to them. Mattes are obviously very good to have as a bridal makeup artist because you always need your really good transition colors, your matte blacks and cream whites and everything. The colors are super pigmented and very blendable. The formula is really creamy. I have not had any single issue with these. You also can obviously make your own version of this by doing like single eyeshadows that are in a magnetic palette. I do also have one of those too, but just at least having one eyeshadow palette that's all mattes is really helpful as a bridal makeup artist. The other products I did not cover in my last video, which I don't know why these didn't come up either, but um, these are color correctors. So these are actually one of the few drugstore items that I keep in my kit still. I am using these currently, but then once I run through them, I'll probably be replacing them. These are the LA Girl Pro conceal color correctors here. Color correctors, if you guys have not used any before or they're a new concept to you, they're something that basically color corrects certain pigmentation on the skin. They aren't really something that you'd have to necessarily use on every single client, but when you need them, you need them. <laughs> so that's why I would always suggest as a bridal makeup artist to carry around these just in case, especially because some of your brides are gonna be waking up very, very early in the morning to get their makeup done, as well as their other bridesmaids and everything too. So you wanna definitely make sure that you have some sort of color correctors that can color correct dark circles underneath the eyes or any hyperpigmentation on the face. It's very handy for this. The only ones I carry in my kit are the green color corrector right here. So this one color corrects any redness in the skin because green and red are complementary colors so they automatically cancel each other out. And then I also carry the peach color corrector. So this one obviously is a lighter peach color and this one will color correct any darkness. Um, so like any darkness underneath the eyes or if, um, if you do women of color, they sometimes have like basically darker areas of their face, usually like kind of on the chin and around the hairline and everything. So you can put on a peach corrector like this and then it kind of will start canceling out any of like the darkness in their skin. This peach one, however, is only suitable for about fair to medium skin tones, I feel like. But then I have this dark peach color corrector here. And as you guys can probably guess, this is the darker version of the other peach color. So if you guys have any clients that are about medium to deeper skin tones, this guy is definitely going to be right up your Alley. otherwise it will look very orange on people with lighter complexions that's why you do definitely need two different versions of the peach color correctors you need a light and a dark one just for the amount of skin tones also just a side note if you guys are looking for really really good 
formulas for concealers and you guys are on a budget or you're just starting out on your freelance journey and want to build a really inexpensive makeup kit, then the LA Girl Pro Concealers, just the regular natural colors of them, are so good for their formulation. So if you guys want any ideas for really good concealers for a budget, then this is it. <laughs> um, also, let me know. I got this suggestion a couple different times from people, but if you guys want me to do a whole entire video over just like starter items if you guys are just looking for like more of an affordable makeup kit then i definitely can do a whole entire video over more affordable products if you guys are building your kit i'm probably gonna make it anyways but just like let me know in the description bar if you guys want to see that because i think it'd be really cool i'm not really going in any certain order for these because the i guess genre of products are like all over the place <laughs> um but this one is actually one of the mac lip scrubs that i carry with me it came in a bigger container i will be showing you guys on the screen what the original container looked like so you guys can find it it doesn't necessarily have to be a mac lip scrub i just had this from when i worked at mac so i just put it in this little container and depotted it i know i already told you guys the last video about the mario badescu lip balm and that one is very handy to have around however i would also recommend that you guys do carry a lip scrub in your bridal kits because it's very handy to have <laughs> when you have clients with extra dry lips that lip balm will not fix. Sometimes people do have very dry and cracked lips, which is completely normal, especially if you're working during the winter time and it gets very cold and dry where you are. So if somebody has really dry and cracked lips, you obviously probably at this point in time know that, that probably wouldn't work really well with any sort of lipstick that you're putting on top of it because it will kind of tend to ball up in those areas. So you wanna make sure you remove all the dead skin off your client's lips, especially your brides, cause you want them to look their very best. <laughs> and if your lip products don't look nice, it definitely will show. Then this leads me on to the next category, which lips and I completely skipped over this the last time and I don't know why. Let me go on with lip liners first. So my absolute favorite formula of lip liners is by far the Gerard Cosmetic ones. These are what they look like. Obviously mine are pretty much just kind of nubs right now. Um, I've used them a lot but these three are my favorite colors here. I have Melrose Place. I have Cher which is my absolute favorite favorite lip liner. Um, it's just kind of like a deeper mauve kind of tone. It's very bridal. I love it. And then this one, name completely rubbed off of it. Um, oh, wait, I can kind of read it. It's in the shade Ecstasy. I got it in a boxy charm. I don't use this one super often. It's more of a cool toned mauve purple kind of shade. It kind of leans a little bit more on the purpley side. So you definitely have to be careful of who you put this on. But for very fair skin, it shows up more pink. So that's what I really like about it. And so those are my all-time favorite bridal lip colors. I do have a bunch of MAC lip liners too. But the formula of these just isn't as creamy because these are actual pencils that you sharpen as opposed to the gel lip liners. Gels just glide on a lot more easily. The MAC ones, you definitely have to make sure that somebody's lips are very hydrated before you do it. Otherwise, it kind of pulls and tugs and it's kind of uncomfortable. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to cover in the lip realm is lip glosses. So I've seen a ton and ton of makeup artists in their makeup artist kits carry like 10 different shades of lip glosses and I'm like, why? <laughs> Because you honestly really don't need that many lip glosses in your kit. All you need in your kit, honestly, is a very solid formula of a clear lip gloss. And that's all you need in your kit. You don't need to be carrying around like 20 different shades of a lip gloss. And that also kind of saves up space and everything too. Because lip glosses can be kind of cumbersome after a while. So this is the one that I have. I have the matte clear lip gloss here. This one's really nice though because it does come in a tube. For makeup artists, obviously anything that squeezes out of tubes like this is more hygienic. I will let you guys know that this one does have a little bit thicker of a formula. It's not a really thin like kind of watery formula if that makes sense. It just stays in place but that's also the really nice thing about it too is that you can eat and drink and as long as you're kind of careful then this one does pretty much stay in place and remains glossy after you do so. Just definitely having a clear lip gloss in your kit will definitely be a really good thing to have especially for weddings. Also I feel like I'm getting repetitive here but in case you guys haven't seen my other makeup artist kit videos this is why I wanted to basically kind of cover these items again just so anybody who hasn't watched my previous videos can also have this information themselves. Um, the one thing that I would definitely recommend that you carry around if you're a bridal makeup artist is hair clips. So these guys are actually butterfly clips. They're just really thin clips like this. You guys have probably seen them before by now but they literally just have like these little prong spring loads right here and they just clip right in. The one thing I really like about these though is that they don't dent hair. I used to have those really large crocodile clips that had the grooves inside of them and man, did those dent. <laughs> 
I would not recommend those. So if you guys have those, please get rid of them and replace them with the butterfly clips. But those ones I only use now if I'm actually styling somebody's hair for a photo shoot, but otherwise than that, I don't use them for brides. You want to have something like this that doesn't dent people's hair because in case the hairstylist comes in first and finishes somebody's hair, you definitely don't want to mess their hair up afterwards, especially if they're the bride. You want to make sure that you have some sort of hair clips just in case they have like those little wavy bangs if they have them in the front of their hair and kind of be able to clip them back really easily. Then at the very end of the application, you can take them out and no harm done. So I would definitely recommend having these butterfly clips if you guys have not invested in those already. The other thing I would recommend having in your kit is some sort of mirror. Sometimes makeup artists forget to bring a mirror with them and they kind of just use like makeup palettes or like a little compact or something. But this one actually came with my Relavel bag that I have. The reason I have a really big mirror like this though, and the reason it's very handy to have a big mirror is because your brides can look at themselves from all different angles and they can just turn the mirror around and they're not having to look through this really small compact that's about this big. Whereas you can definitely see the whole entire picture with a bigger mirror like this. And then the last thing I wanted to cover is the setting spray that I usually carry around with me. I've literally had the setting spray for as long as I've been freelancing. So it's going on three years now. Not like the same one, obviously. <laughs> it's the Scandinavia makeup finish setting spray and this is the bridal makeup setting spray so this is pretty much like a dupe for the all-nighter by urban decay if you guys have heard about that one i feel like everybody has at this point in time if you're into makeup Scandinavia actually makes urban decay setting sprays so this has almost the exact same formula as the urban decay one so they have the bridal finish setting spray which is pretty much like a dupe for the all-nighter they have a matte version, which is the oil control version in Urban Decay's, and they also have a dewy one, which Urban Decay also has a dewy setting spray too. So if you guys want to support Scandinavia itself, then definitely go ahead and get this one. Also, just a side note, this is the size that I carry now, but I think I probably will get the travel size version of this one and then just use this one to kind of refill the travel size one so I don't have to be carrying like this big bottle around. I'm all about condensing and depotting on this channel, obviously. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that I get a smaller bottle for this one. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys stayed all the way until the very end. If you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button. I upload a ton of makeup artist related content on this channel. So if you guys have not subscribed, please do so and join the family because I would love to have you as part of this channel. Also, if you guys have any more video suggestions, like if you guys want me to do a starter makeup kit series, then I definitely can. I will also be doing a full makeup artist kit video for you guys for 2021. Here in the next month or two, I wanna be as prepared as possible and have my makeup kit as ready and organized looking as I possibly can before I film that video. So if you guys really want that video, let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day or had an amazing day, whatever time you're watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.